Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to another Super Sunday here in the Celebrity FIFA Cup. It's the fourth and final quarterfinal today between Heaven United and Deadly Duos. A fantastic game we have in store for you today. And as always, beside me in the commentary booth is Mr. Alan Smith. This should be a great game, Alan. Oh, yeah, it should be. Easter Sunday. Grab an egg, sit down and shut up and watch the game. Well, both teams bringing in several new players for today's match. Uh, it should be a really good contest to decide the final place in the semi-finals of the Celebrity FIFA Cup. Don't go anywhere. Join us next. And it's live. So the starting lineup for Heaven United in goal, of course, is Jesus Christ. Back four of Martin Luther King, Charles Darwin, Stephen Fry and Charles Dickens. Mary Curie and Rosa Parks come in on the wings. In the midfield, it's Attenborough and uh, Newton. And up front together, it's that deadly strike partnership of Louis Theroux and Ainsley Harriet. And now for deadly duos in goal is Gollum or is it Smeagol? We won't know until he's on the pitch. Dick and Dom and Anson Deck make up the back four. In midfield, it's Mario and Luigi on the wings with the Chuckle Brothers in central midfield. And it's Keenan and Kel together. Together again up front, a really decent looking bench as well for Deadly Duos. The Cheeky Girls, Beavis and Butthead, Jedward and the Hulk on the bench for them. A fantastic contest we've got in store for us, Alan. Who do you reckon is going to be uh, some of the key players in today's game? Well, you know, it's tough to say. I think uh, Chuckle Brothers, they've both got great vision and uh, likes of uh, Rosa, Rosa Parks for uh, heaven. If they uh, if they park the bus, well, she won't be getting off it. Indeed, she won't. As we get underway here, Heaven United playing from left to right in the first half in their white strippers. Rosa Parks gets her first touch of the game and plays it infield here to David Attenborough, who's got fantastic stamina. Considering he is in his 90s, he's a fantastic midfield uh, addition to the team. Oh yeah, he is. I, to be honest, I think he's one of the best players on planet Earth. Here's Isaac Newton in central midfield, just taking his time and uh, jinking past the defender. Now Rosa Parks down the left, back into Newton, looking up and assessing his options here. Parks into Ainsley Harriet. Lovely little one-two between the two of them. Here's Rosa Parks looking maybe to get the ball into the box. She back heels it. It's lovely. Charles Dickens. Oh, oh a good save from Gollum, turning it round the post. Oh yeah, a great save. I mean, there's great expectations on Dickens, but uh, so far he's disappointed. Charles Dickens. Goes back in the end to Stephen Fry, who's uh, maybe looking to uh, just hold the ball up for a second here. Dickens into Newton, back to Dickens, back what to are Newton, you doing? Back, back to Dickens. So it's almost like they've got the Chuckle Brothers playing for them. They're playing a bit oh, to yeah. me to you there down the left hand side. Yeah, to me to crap. Speaking of which, here is Paul Chuckle finding Keenan. Back to Chuckle, and he finds his brother Barry in central midfield. Now Keenan, back to Barry Chuckle. Decent little move this for Deadly Duos, and Kel could be in on goal here. It's Kel! Oh! It's 1 0. He smashed it in at the near post. Oh, Jesus Carl Christ couldn't do anything about it, and Kel puts Deadly Duos into the lead early on. It's 1 0. Well, you can tell he's had his orange soda today. He's pumped up. Bang! 1 0. Lovely finish at the near post there from Kel, and Jesus Christ, who is normally perfect in goal, really could have done a bit better with that one. Easter Sunday, you know, he has risen, but it looks like he's fallen there. So deadly duos take the lead in the 13th minute. Kel with a lovely finish at the near post, putting them into the lead. And Heaven United have got to try and come from a goal down here to salvage this game. And they're, they're not going to do it with passing like that. But in the end, Isaac Newson does OK and finds Stephen Fry. Now Dickens back to Fry into the midfield. But it's a poor pass from him. And Keenan looks to spring the offside trap. Oh. But it's uh, just intercepted. Well, David I think Heaven, you know, they need to be careful here. You know, they do say bad things come in two, so watch out. I, I think the saying's bad things come in threes, isn't it, Alan? Oh, was it? Yeah, I think so. Oh. That changes everything. Luigi caught offside there, just uh, getting a bit too ahead of himself and uh, running past the offside trap. Mario and Luigi, though, you've got to say, have developed a great bond on uh, either side. They play on the right and the left, uh, but they're looking really good this season. Uh, they, they are, and they, like me, they love magic mushrooms, and it makes them quicker, and it makes me happier. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us on this Easter Sunday. It feels very apt that Heaven United are playing today, and uh, it also means that there's some uh, chocolatey surprises here in the commentary booth for us. I've been snacking myself mm. on a uh, little Easter egg during the game. And Alan, you've got a very Easter-themed lunch with you today as well, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've got a, a cream egg smeared on a hot crust bun and topped off with a nice bit of salmon. Here's Martin Luther King whacking out the skills down the right-hand side. Lovely bit of footwork from him and Louis Three back heels it. It's Marie Curie! Oh. oh, it was a decent chance as well, but she couldn't hit the target and it's gone wide. Oh, it's one thing to cure cancer, but she couldn't find the remedy there. So goal kick now taken by Gollum 
as he smashes it forward and Paul Chuckle finds his brother Barry. Back to Paul Chuckle now looking to uh, play it down the right hand side. Maybe there's a bit of space at right back for Dick. But in the end, he's uh, taken out there by Marie oh. Curie. Late challenge and it is the game's first yellow card. Well, she's not going to win a Nobel Prize for doing that. So obviously it is Easter Sunday, um, Alan. And uh, I know we're yeah. commentating on this game for now. But have you got any Easter Sunday evening plans after we finished the match today? Uh, well, I'm in isolation, obviously. So... Uh, I'll probably go go upstairs, sit in the corner and uh, drink until I pass out. So Keenan gets us underway in this second half. Deadly duos leading Heaven United by a goal to nil at the break. And here's Dick looking to switch it across to Luigi on the left-hand side. It's easily intercepted by Martin Luther King. The game's first substitution being made now. Isaac Newton is going off for Heaven United to be replaced by Idris Elba. Oh. Could he make a bit of an impact today, Alan? Well, I think he could, and he's quite a sexy guy, definitely in my top three, and uh, I would. Here's Idris Elba with his first touch, playing it out to Rosa Parks, who's uh, passed back to him, it was very poor. And now Mario has a chance to break with Keenan, back healing, it's a lovely touch, and it's played through here to Kel. Can he find the space for the shots? Well, he can't, oh. but he was fouled in the process. Referee's given a free kick here, and it's in a good position. Oh yeah, great position, and that was poor from Darwin, not exactly evolutionary. Substitution being made here for Deadly Duos, Keenan going off to be replaced by the Hulk, although at the moment it looks a little bit more like Bruce Banner as he comes off the bench. Paul Chuckle stands over the free kick from a decent position awesome. here. It's Chuckle going for goal! Oh, oh what a strike it is no as well! Way. Paul Chuckle with an absolute screamer. It's a brilliant free kick in off the crossbar and Jesus Christ stood absolutely no chance. Oh, well, that was poor from Jesus. He might have died for our sins, but he was cynical himself there. Crap! Absolutely brilliant strike, wasn't it, from Paul Chuckle. Look at this, perfect. Over the wall, into the top corner. It just grazes the crossbar on its way in. Well, Paul Chuckle, we know he's a bit of a specialist from long distance, but that was particularly special. He is, and uh, they do make me chuckle, but that was all serious. I loved it! So, uh, substitution made after that free kick as well, and Barry Chuckle is going off to be replaced by Beavis in the middle of the park to join Paul Chuckle in central midfield. But Heaven United need to dust themselves down here and try and get back into this game. They are losing 2-0 to Deadly Duos, and uh, the way Duos are playing, can't really see Heaven United get back into this. Well, I can't really. I think they need to muster something up, but they are my least favourite team, so... If they go out, then who cares? I have to say as well, Jesus Christ in goal does look a bit distracted today. Of all days, it's an interesting uh, day to be playing a fixture uh, you know, with him in the squad. Has he been distracted, do you think, by the national holiday? Well, I think he has. It's all about him, you know, and uh, he's got a big following, so there's a lot of pressure. But he needs to get on with it. Another substitution now, and it's one for Heaven United. Louis Theroux is being taken off, and here he comes. John Cena was such a hero for them in the last game and for Deadly Duos. Paul Chuckle, the goal scorer, is going off to be replaced by Butthead, which means it's now Beavis and Butthead in central midfield. Oh, but yeah. I'm a bit confused. I didn't, I didn't see anyone come on then. Was that a sub? Another substitution being made now. Marie Curie, who you have to say hasn't made much of an impression on this game, coming off to be replaced by Tom Hanks, who successfully recovered from COVID-19 to join the match day squad today. Well, Hanks, he's done a lot of stuff, you know, cracked the Da Vinci Code. He uh, survived on that um, boat with the pirates and uh, he saved Private Ryan, so surely he can win this game. Ainsley Harriet playing it inside to Tom Hanks. What do you think of Ainsley Harriet, Alan? Well, someone needs to tell him he's only got five minutes left before he has to stop playing. John Cena finds Ainsley Harriet. Can he get the shot away here? Oh. oh, he can. But he just drags it wide. And you have a feeling that might be the final chance for Heaven United. Unlucky there for Harriet. Oh, if you had red tomatoes or green peppers, that was crap either way. Elba back into Ainsley Harriet. Now here's David Attenborough trying to cause one last chance. Oh, oh and it was so close. Rosa Parks almost getting a consolation goal but it's just pulled wide of the near post, and I think that will be that. Yeah, that will be that, and I can't wait to get home and get in that corner with my bottle of scotch. Well, there is the final whistle, and what a result it is here. Heaven United have been beaten 2-0 by deadly duos. Kel and Paul Chuckle, who scored a stunning free kick in the second half, sealed the victory for deadly duos. And what result that is for them, Alan? Yeah, great result, and uh, I'm excited for the semi-finals. They're gonna be epic. And I'm happy. 
Yes, thank you very much everybody for tuning in. Make sure, as always, to vote for your player of the match in the top right-hand corner of the video right now. Check out the rest of the games if you haven't seen them so far as well. And also, every Wednesday evening, we do a roundup show where we go over the best moments, top goal scorers, uh, man of the matches, and uh, everything like that. You'll also be able to see the tournament bracket as to who's playing who in the semi-finals. But until then, I suppose this is farewell from me, Sunnage Gaming, and from Alan Smith. Alan, any parting words? Uh, once again, no. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody.